thank you for watching this week. You know, you might be wondering where I'm at. I'm actually taping in the Will Rogers Coliseum where we will be having our annual icing conference. It's coming up in October and you gotta register. It is a free event for women, but you have to register at terry.com slash icing. And let me just tell you, I am so excited about our topic because I'm gonna teach you how to have a vision board what it is and why it works. Why in the world do you need a vision board? You are going to love it. Whether it's weight loss, financial freedom, getting married, your dream house, your business, get the vision. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. But do you know, I have discovered that you can't have a vision without a routine to back it up. You can't have a vision for your life without good habits that are gonna help you achieve those dreams, that are gonna lead you to those dreams. You know, I was reading somewhere that 40% of your daily activities are the result of habits. And you know, the interesting thing is, God created you to be a creature of habit. It's not coincidental that some things in your life are just habitual. You know, if we weren't creatures of habit, everything would be a long, tedious process. I mean, if you really had to get up and think, wait, I'm supposed to brush my teeth, I gotta put toothpaste on the brush. I'm supposed to get dressed. Yes, I'm supposed to get dressed. No, God made us to be creatures of habit. So you just automatically get up without even thinking about it. You brush your teeth. You automatically start to get dressed. Well, do you know you can become that way in the area of success habits? And let me just tell you, successful people have successful habits. Listen to this. Success doesn't occur one day in someone's life. Neither does failure. Each is a process. The way you live your life today is preparing you for tomorrow. Question is, what are you preparing for? Well, I want you to develop habits in your life that are gonna lead you to the dreams that God's put in your heart. Well, you know, I had no idea years ago when I developed a routine of five habits that I just said I'm gonna do these every day for 21 days. I had no idea that that 21 day goal would lead me, what is it now, 13 years later, and I'm still doing them. Now, the five things that I said I'm gonna do every day, number one was spend time with God. Whether it's five minutes or 30 minutes, I said I'm gonna spend time in prayer. Number two was to listen to a motivational message because I knew faith comes by hearing and I've got to build my faith. So I just said I'm going to do something every day to listen. Number three, I'm going to read. I begin to learn things like leaders are readers and that the wealthiest people in the world have a habit of reading. So I said, okay, I'm going to start reading. Number four was to review my dreams and goals. In other words, look at them, keep them before my eyes consistently. And number five was exercise because I know that looking good makes you feel good. And so I thought I just want to incorporate exercise as part of my routine. Well, I had no idea that I would continue those habits for now 13 years. But what did I say before? Success doesn't occur one day, neither does failure. Both are a process. The way you live your life today is preparing you for tomorrow. I had no idea that those habits were preparing me for today, for what I'm doing right now. Well, you might even wonder how in the world do you establish habits? Because that's the question everybody wants to know. When they want to develop new discipline in their lives, they say, you know, Terry, I've done that before, but it didn't last long. Or I've tried exercising and I did it consistently for, you know, three months and then I quit. You know, Stephen Covey, who wrote the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he said three things are required in order to have good habits. He said, number one is knowledge. You have to know what to do. Number two is skill. You gotta know how to do it. And then number three is desire. You have to have the will, the want to do it. So that's something only you can decide for yourself. How bad do you want to prepare now for what God's put in your heart for tomorrow? You can't have a vision without a routine to back it up. Every successful person you know, you study, you admire, they have habits that have led them to success. Listen to what Jack Canfield said. The habits you form from this day forward will ultimately determine how your future unfolds. Let me repeat that. The habits you form from this day forward will ultimately determine how your future unfolds. So, I think you understand you gotta have good habits. Let me tell you a few steps real quick to incorporate this new discipline of having good habits. Number one is to set a 21 day goal. 
You've heard it said that behavioral psychologists say you can do something consistently for 21 days, you can break an old habit and start a new one. You can do something consistently for 21 days. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. So set that goal and I want to challenge you, get a calendar, use your iPad or use a, a physical calendar and actually mark it on the calendar because something about seeing it, it makes you not want to skip a day, you are determined to mark through 21 days. Number two is start small. Don't set a massive goal. If your goal is to start reading, don't say I'm going to read a book a week if you never read. Just set a goal to say I'm going to read for 20 minutes a day. Set the alarm on your phone and go for it. If it's a goal to start drinking water because you're drinking too many Cokes, then don't say I'm going to drink eight bottles of water every day. No, start with one bottle. Start small. Number three is do it every day. Consistency is the key to change. When you're trying to develop a habit in your life, it just doesn't work when you say, I'm going to do that three days a week. I'm going to do that twice a week. No, do it every single day for 21 days. Number four, the best way to start a habit and keep it is to do it at the same time every day. You know, it's not coincidental that now it's a habit for me to listen to a motivational message when I get ready in the morning. Why? Because I do it at the same time every day. Same with taking vitamins. I don't have to remind myself, take your vitamins. No, I know when I go out the door in the morning, take those vitamins. So do it at the same time every day. It just programs it in your mind that that's when I do it. And finally, number five, commit your goal in writing. There's something about putting pen to paper that causes you to be committed to it. And they say your chance of success increases by 98% when you put your goals in writing. So let me close out with a quote from John Maxwell. He said, if you want to see change in your life, change something you do daily. I am rooting for you to establish these new habits in your life. And I just want to challenge you real quick to become a partner with our ministry. You know, I believe that when you partner with someone, that means you commit to pray for them, to support their ministry financially. When you become a partner, that same grace, that same anointing, that same gift that's on that ministry, it comes on you. And I think it's interesting that this month we're talking about discipline and habits and routine because I believe that is the gift that God's given me, is discipline to achieve your goals. So I believe that when you partner with our ministry, you're gonna see in your life a whole new area of discipline is gonna be birthed on the inside of you. And in the past, where you used to give up on things and quit somewhere along the way, you're gonna say, I don't know, I've changed. All of a sudden, I've got this desire to be committed, to be consistent, and to be disciplined. So pray about becoming a partner with this ministry and help us change lives all over the world. And I want to say thank you ahead of time for those of you who feel that connection with us. And thank you for watching the podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, so I can keep you motivated to achieve your dreams. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.